Hi, welcome to Instant Maine. I'm Tom Butchard, a senior at the local high school. You could pretty much say I have it made. I'm captain and star of the soccer team, boyfriend to one of the prettiest, most popular girls in the school, and third in my class. My parents keep saying that I could have the pick of any college I want to go to. That is, if I ever get around to filling out my applications. You see, I just don't know what I want to do after I graduate. But who does? Yeah, Anston looks like any other little small town in the United States. But that is where you're wrong. You see, Anston has just recently become a secondary migration location for Somali refugees. My guidance counselor likes to say that they are just seeking a better life. But honestly, I never gave them much thought. That is, until recently. Four new Somali immigrants have just joined the soccer team. And man, let me tell you, they are good. Especially this kid, Saeed. He doesn't speak English very well, but he can play soccer like no other. It's like he comes out of nowhere to make impossible shots. Since they have been on the team, we have been winning, dominating even. I have been trying to understand their culture so I can help Saeed, but it is hard to understand. They just have so many rules. One rule in particular is going to get me in trouble. You see, our team has been winning so much that I made a little bet with our rival team. I know that was stupid, but I really thought at the time we could beat them. And I still think we might. The only problem is that the other team has now brought up Saeed's eligibility. Is he old enough to play? No one knows how old Saeed is. Not even Saeed himself. So what's going to happen? I don't know. And to make matters worse, Saeed has gone missing. No one knows what has happened to him. I pushed his family to report him missing to the police, even though they didn't want to. I thought I knew. I thought my brush with the law over a rock was some life-altering moment in the up-to-that-point fairly charmed life of Tom Buchard. But I didn't know anything. I didn't know fear at the point of a gun. I didn't know what it meant to be powerless, to stand by helplessly as your life blew up before your eyes. If I'd had any clue about any of that, I never would have pushed Aid's parents to report him missing because their instinct was to wait and not rush to the cops. Turns out, they were right.